Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah From some of those important hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which explained for us the usul of the religion, the usul of deen, what Islam is built upon is the hadith of Umar radiallahu ta'ala and the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. The hadith of Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu In which he said, Sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul Inma a'malu bin niyat wa inma li kulli Inma a'malu bin niyat wa inma li kulli imriyan manawa Faman kanat Umar he said, I heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, Verily actions are tied to the intentions and everyone shall get that for which he intended. Therefore, he who migrates for Allah and his messenger, then he has migrated for Allah and his messenger. And he who migrates to take some woman in marriage or for some worldly gain, then they will get that for which they had migrated for. This hadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the reason it is part of the usul al deen is that this hadith talks about the niya, the intention, and that our actions are tied to our intentions, meaning that for us as Muslims, everything we do that has to do with worship should have an intention because and our intention should be to worship Allah alone so this is one of the conditions for having our deeds accepted which is ikhlas lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that the believer he or she does all acts of ibadah, all acts of worship to Allah that they pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in accordance with His commands, that they fast to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala within in their intention, Right now, the, task, the fast of Dhul Hijjah and soon to be the fast of Arafat, Yom Arafah. And all of those acts of worship are done to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're not done to please the creation. And they're not directed towards the creation, but rather they're uh, directed to Allah Azza wa Jal. And that lets us know also from this hadith that the place of our actions, al madar al amal, or al madar al niya, or dar al niya al qalb, that the place of the intention is in the heart. And all of that we learn from this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
and the immense fawaid that are derived from this hadith. But we just wanted to talk about how it is a uh, asas or foundation for the usul of Islam. Because all of your Islam is dependent upon your intention in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second hadith, the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, is a hadith in which she said, radiallahu ta'ala anha, man ahdatha fi amrina hadha ma laysa minhu fuwarad. Whoever commits an innovation in this affair of ours, we'll have it rejected. And in another narration, which is the narration of in Sahih Muslim, man amila amalan laysa alayhi amruna fuhurad. Whoever innovates in this affair of ours, we'll have it, we'll have it rejected. So from those Two hadith, those two narrations of Aisha, the mother of the believers, radiallahu ta'ala anha, we also see that this hadith is in regards to the usul ad deen to the foundation of the religion. And that it is, and that the way in which it is from the usul ad deen is because this hadith is a reference to mutaba' to following or obedience to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that this hadith shows us that it's an obligation that whatever deeds we do in Islam they must be in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they must be in accordance with how he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did those deeds so it isn't a matter of that we just pray but we need to pray like Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it isn't a matter that we just fast, but we need to fast in accordance with how Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fasted. So, <clears throat> from those two hadith, we see that they also make up the, not just usul of Islam, but the usul of all of our deeds to be accepted by Allah Azza wa Jal. All of our deeds in Islam are based upon, in essence, what we learn from those two hadith. And that is that you have to have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your worship. Your worship should only go to Allah And that your worship must be done in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's how you have your deeds accepted. So if one prays, but they innovate in the prayer, their prayer will be rejected. If one innovates in their menhaj, their methodology of understanding Islam and practicing Islam, they will have that rejected. And that's why the importance of following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and why you hear from Ahlul Sunnah always they're exhorting to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for this very reason because all of our deeds are built upon uh, those two issues, you know, built upon ikhlas wa mutaba, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and following the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.